So what you working on? Just cables? Belt now. Just belts? Where are we ready? Oh, put yeah. Put rod bearings in this one. <laughs> hey. About to lift the front up. Claxon's yeah. not here. We can't talk about that. I guess we didn't do the belts when we were here. Up there. Oh my god, you got a crash pad? Oh, that makes me so happy. Just getting to the races. And man, there's almost nothing sexier than a race car with four brand new tires on it. We don't race pavement, so you don't see that a whole lot here at the dirt races. Oh yes. Getting cables hooked up. We were hoping to get some CSIs, but uh, I was on a loaner deal last year. And they sold my shocks. Look at them big old sexy tires. Oh yes, all right, so it is the first race of the year, or it feels like the first race of the year for me because ultimately, you know, racing doesn't start in Indiana until the weather breaks, you know, and so this is the first night of the year and the weather is nice. I'm in a hoodie, but I don't need to be. Um, and it's nice to be in a sprint car, honestly. Like, so midget racing is tough. It's a different type of racing. Pretty pumped to be, uh, make, I make videos. I, I make videos for the world to see. Matt, see that's Matt. Matt's my old buddy. Me and Matt grew up racing quarter midgets together. So everybody likes giving me a hard time about this camera right here, but. I am uh, I'm enjoying my camera work. It gives me something to do during the day. Check this out. We got all the hitters tonight. 10 grand to win. It's a USAC show. I was I was just talking to somebody about this. Like the amount of money. No, I was talking to Bobby Santos about it. Like my personal car. I couldn't do that, you know? Like, I had to spend the money wisely. Yeah. And so, a $5,000 carbon body wasn't wisely spending my money because that, that's almost my tire budget, exactly. you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, I think it's that's, That was my first and last carbon body, I think, because it's just not worth it. So Paragon Speedway is a 3.8 paper clip. Typically it goes really slick, but uh, it's probably hard to tell. There is some bank here. All right, just cruised over to the other side. And it's always a good, good idea to go look at the track because the banking on entry right here has a giant lip, which means you can rip the lip. But about right here in the middle, just past the middle of three, it flattens out here like hardcore, which means you're gonna have to cheat it. You're gonna have to be not in the middle there, but like, you know, like aiming for there. Welcome back to Team STV. Today we are at Paragon Speedway. It is 10 grand to win. We are sprint car racing. Super pumped. Going sprint car racing. Been midget racing for a while. We're going sprint car racing. How about that? Oh, this thing is so badass. So nice. Oh, if only. We won races because of nice race cars. I'd win everything. I feel like I'm always in the nicest race car. 
Let's see these. These guys over here, they're good too. Just got done with practice and we weren't terrible brand new car it was kind of like i don't know i've been racing midgets so i, I think i was like hucking it in too hard and it was kind of over rotating on me about spun it out a couple times but it's first night brand new car just practice they are doing a qualifying format so i'm about to get in the car to qualify hey thanks for watching team as tv in practice all i was missing was plugging it in the good shit yeah dude that second laugh was sick so i mean it if we, can, right we, can get around through, we can get through the heat race there's no invert so we'll start on the pole building a ton of temp. It ran great. Dude, this thing looks badass. I think it's my favorite car here. Got this fancy new camera. Just like Maddox got this fancy looking race car. Almost heat race time. We start on the front row because they're basically doing a straight up format and I was quick timing our group so so far, it's going pretty good. Um, the car is a little bit different because I've been running midgets. And midgets, you just stand on them. And this thing here makes like 925 horsepower. So I'm really having to throttle it right. And uh, I don't feel like I'm doing a great job of that yet. But we're on the front of the heat race, so got the cameras on. See you out there.
that totally sucked. But I about flipped this thing out of the ballpark on that first lap and took Brady with me. That's how you go from hero to zero. started on the pole and I was going to run in to Bacon's left rear and turn our brand new car over so I basically backed it in harder to not hit him and I I spun the car out and got got hit you know ended up in the back but in the blink of an eye I had to make a decision whether I wanted to maybe run over Bacon and take us both out or, or just try to save it we saved it. Managed to get my way back to fifth. So, we should start in the first two rows of B. $500 to start. We got to make the show now. take four out of the B so I need to just try to get to third second first if I can because that's just a whole row ahead in the feature really just stepped on it ah kicking myself in the butt Nothing to, to lose yeah. here. All right, go ahead and get the rear wheels free and get them off. So whatever you wanted to do, tonight's do a good night to do it. All right. 
because we still got to get to sevens before it pays more than 500. Got out of the B main, which I needed to. Um, car wasn't terrible. Track's going away pretty hardcore. So we're starting so deep. There's no need to like not throw the book at it. You know, this place is going away. First night in the car. We're going to try some stuff. You guys watch Team S TV? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Thank you. Subscribe to Team S TV. Yeah, there you go. All right. I shouldn't even be holding the camera, guys, but just got out of the car, and this seems to calm me down. And uh, my boy here, Kyle. Kyle's got everything taken care of. Dude. Put a used tire on it. Well, there ain't nothing wrong with that one.
No, you're oh, fine. It was a nice ride uh, to the hospital. I think I potentially popped my shoulder out of the socket. I don't know. It hurts. I got super bad news. The good news is I found myself a World of Outlaw ride and I had five races in the next month scheduled to run. The bad news is I broke my collarbone tonight in the sprint car.